Be vigilant at all times and pray that you may have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Gird your loins and light your lamps and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen. I say to you, he will gird himself, have them recline at table, and pray to them. And find them prepared in this way. Blessed are those servants. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Glory to the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, everyone. We are all waiting the heavenly banquet of the Lamb. And the Lamb is awaiting all of us. And we want to enter into this wedding through the celebration of the sacred mysteries until our life may be fully configured the sacred mystery. This is my body. This is my blood. That is to become a living host, a martyr, a witness of the power of the love of God. Today, commemorate a great martyr of our time and our history, Blessed Jersey Populusco. Who? What was his crime for which he was killed by the communists in 1984 for being a faithful priest. And why was the, go the communist government so afraid of him? He didn't have weapons, nor soldiers. A very strong physical strength, but he, he didn't have very strong physical strength, but he had truth. And those who lived in the darkness of lies were very afraid of the truth because the fruit, the truth l lights, is a light in the darkness, and the light conquers the darkness. In 1981, there was a violent manifestation in Gdansk. Cardinal and Varsavia, Cardinal Wyszynski, had to send a chaplain. The main chaplain was ill. He sent a young priest. In this violent moment, when Father Jerzy Popolusku came and saw the violence amongst the soldiers, the police, and the workers. She deci he decided to invite everyone to the Holy Mass, and many workers participated in this Mass. He, it was the founding Mass of the Solidarity Movement, and he was the chaplain. For three years, he only celebrated the sacraments for the workers. And he preached the gospel. Every Sunday, he celebrated a mass for the good of the country, for all in the country, all Christians, communists, everyone. His homilies reach Radio Free Europe every Sunday in the evening. And by his homilies, he was the number one enemy in Poland of the communists. 
Yes, the truth is very powerful. And why? As Father Jersey preached in a homily, the truth never changes. It cannot be destroyed by no decision or legal act. To say and to preach and to live the truth with courage is a path that leads one directly to freedom. A man who says this truth is a free man. Despite external slavery, the en enslavement, imprisonment, and this is what Jesus offers, his body, the glorious freedom of the children of God. St. John Paul II wrote, Therefore, the truth is what makes man who he is. His relation with the truth is a decisive factor in his human nature and constitutes his dignity as a person. That's why the words of Blessed Jersey Populuska from his parish in Warsavia reached the entire world in this difficult and dark world. The truth conquered the darkness and the light and the And that's why the communists had to kill his body. But they couldn't kill the truth, as they discovered that in the Mass on November 3rd, 1984, that is two weeks after his martyrdom, 250,000 people came in person against the will of the communist government. 250,000 people with more courage to live their Catholic faith, to walk according to the truth, and also to die for the truth. Because a man wanted to become the mysteries he celebrated, which were the last words. What were the last words of Father Jersey? This is my body. This is my blood. After his last mass, he was killed. But his words, because of the words of Jesus in him, reached a generation of young people who testified with faith and love and responsibility the truth of Christ. As our Mother Founders teaches us, Evil has a limit. That limit will be communicated by the maternal presence and action of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It is for that that our Blessed Mother is constantly forming an army of faithful sons and daughters, profound spirituality and great Eucharistic love, authentic seeking of conversion and holiness and fidelity to the truth. Lovers of the sacraments and the virtues that pray and promote the Holy Rosary, that have a great missionary ardor. This day, we remember a great missionary of the Eucharistic Heart of Jesus and great apostle of the Holy Rosary, a young priest who was buried with the rosary in his hands and his vestments, his chasel, chasuble martyrdom. How great God is and how great is the truth. All for the heart of Jesus through the heart of Mary. <laughs>